Anatomy of the pronator teres muscle. The pronator teres is a muscle located in the forearm. The muscle has two heads, the superficial head, which is the humeral head, and it arises from the medial epicondyle of the humerus, and a deep head, which is the under head, and it arises from the medial border of the coronoid process of the anna. Here you can see illustration of the origin of the two heads of the pronator teres muscle. The muscle is inserted into the middle of the lateral surface of the shaft of the radius, as you can see here. Here is the origin, and here is the insertion. The function of the pronator teres is to pronate the forearm along with the pronator quadratus so the palm turns posterior or down. Pronation and spination of the forearm is illustrated here. The pronator tear is also assessed in flexion of the forearm at the elbow. When fractures occur below the insertion of the pronator teres muscle, the proximal fragment is usually pulled into pronation. The forearm has a normal rotation range of 160 to 180 degrees. Sometimes a decrease in rotation motion by 50 degree may not be noticed. However, every attempt should be made to reduce the forearm fracture well, especially proximal radius fracture, which are prone to malrotation. The bicipital tuberosity of the radius is used as a guide to the rotation of the proximal radius. Compare the position of the thumb to the position of the radial tuberosity. The pronator teres muscle is innervated by the median nerve. A condition of a high radial nerve palsy is helped by the transfer of the pronator teres. Extension of the rest, which is impaired by the high radial nerve palsy, and it is called wrist drop, is improved by transfer of the pronator teres to the extensor carboridialis brevis muscle. The main relationship to the pronator teres muscle are the median nerve passes between the two heads of the pronator teres. The ulnar head, the deep head, separates the median nerve from the ulnar artery. The median nerve runs above the deep head, while the ulnar artery runs below the deep head. It seems like when a nerve enters the forearm, it goes between two heads of a muscle. The posterior interosseous nerve, the deep branch, enter the extensor compartment of the forearm between the two heads of the supinator muscle. The posterior interosseous nerve can be compressed at the arcade of Froch. The ulnar nerve enters the forearm by passing through the two heads of the flexor carbi annaris muscle, and the median nerve enters the forearm by passing through the two heads of the pronator teres muscle. A condition called pronator teres syndrome can occur due to entrapment of the median nerve between the two heads of the pronator teres muscle. Other causes may cause pronator teres syndrome. However, entrapment of the median nerve between the two heads of the pronator teres is an important cause. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.